<clears throat> Hi, welcome to Inkpot. In this video, we are going to start with a new chapter that is contract costing. So let's have a clear understanding of what is contract costing first. Now, contract costing is a special form of job costing. The main difference between job costing and contract costing is that of size. Where big jobs are involved, require considerable length of time to complete and comprise activities to be done outside the factory area. That is known as contract costing. While in case of job costing, the work is sm uh, small and it is done within the factory area. Now, the example of contract costing is like building constructions, road construction, bridge construction, flyovers, civil engineering work, etc. Now, what does... Uh, in case of contract costing, we prepare contract account. And what is that we include in contract account is material, labor, direct expenses, indirect expenses. These all are expenses and you all are well aware of what are material, what are labor, direct expenses and indirect expenses. This being expenses are recorded on the debit side of contract account. And contract account is always prepared in the books of contractor. There are two words, contractor and contractee. So contractor is one who performs the contract and contractee is a person who gives the contract. So contract account is prepared in the books of contractor and not in the books of contractee. And contractor does the work for the contractee. So materials, labor, direct expenses, indirect expenses, these all are expenses incurred by the contractor, hence shown on the debit side of the contract account. Now we have next expense known as plant and machinery. So plant and machinery is also an expense. Depreciation on plant and machinery rather is an expense. We can show either depreciation of plant and machinery in contract account or the another way to show is that we can show the opening val value of plant and machinery on the debit side and closing value on the credit side. So difference is automatically the depreciation. So these are two ways by which we can show the depreciation in contract account. Now extra work. Extra work means the additional work done by the contractor as required by the contractee. So this is also an expense and that has to be shown in the contract account. Now. How can we show this expense? If the uh, extra cost of extra work is big, we can prepare a separate contract account for that. But it, if, if the expenses are uh, not that significant, we can show it on the debit side of the contract account. Then subcontracts. So subcontracts are the contracts given by the contractor to someone else. So like for example, uh, if a contractor is cons uh, preparing a flat or a building for us. Now he can give the subcontracts of flooring, grilling, etc. to the subcontractor and in this case such cost is debited to the concerned contract account. Now what are cost plus con contracts? When uh, the contractor does not have experience in a particular type of work and he doesn't have high idea how to quote the price of the contract, how much to quote the price of the contract in that case he can enter into a cost plus contract cost plus contracts are advantages both to the contractor and the contractee the contractee knows well how much he is paying for the elements of cost and how much the profit is charged by the contractor that is the contractor shows all the bill to the contractors that how much cost he has incurred and he can charge a suitable percentage of profit on that so that is cost plus contracts. Now next is work certified. Work certified means uh, the work certified by the architect of the contractee. When a contractor completes certain percentage of work, he shows that work to the contractee. Now the architect of the contractee certify a work, certify the part of that work completed and he may the work certified by the architect is known as work certified now retention money now whatever the work is certified by the architect of the contractee the contractee has to pay that amount to the contractor now Contractee never makes full payment to the contractee. He retains some amount, say 10%, 20% of the amount to be paid uh, so that in case if there is any fault in the work, he can recover for, from that amount. So the amount held back is known as retention money. 
cash received so cash received is the value of work certified minus the retention money for example the surveyor of the architect has uh, said uh, certified the work up to the extent of say 50000 but entire 50000 will not be paid to the uh, contractor he may retain some money say up to 10000 now 40000 is paid to the contractor that is cash received by the contractor work earned certified so work earned certified means work not yet certified by the surveyor of the contractee so that is known as work uncertified now most important thing about works uh, sorry work certified is that uh, we always show value of work certified in books and work uncertified is always shown at cost price now work in progress Work in progress means incomplete contracts are referred as work in progress. This should be shown on the asset side of the balance sheet because work in progress means the work done by the contractor but amount has not been received for that. So it is just treated as accrued income, work done but amount not yet received. So it is shown on the asset side of the balance sheet. And if there is any notional profit on it, so that is deducted from work in progress. Thank you.